So why are we so dependent on grading companies? Are we overly dependent on them? When PSA says that something is a six or a seven, why do we just go with that? Why do we decide that that's the law and that's the rule and that's what that card's actual condition is? Granted, they've been around for a long time, but that doesn't mean that they don't make mistakes. And a lot of us have had times that we've submitted cards and we do feel that there was a mistake. So, so why do we still trust them? Why do we still value them? Why do we allow whatever number they assign to a card be the unconditional rule? We're so dependent on the grading companies to tell us what the condition of a card is and then what the value of the card is that I think we're finding ourselves held captive to whatever it is that they say and do. I think what we really should take a look at is let's just actually look at the cards. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually sit down and we're gonna look at different grades of the same card and compare them. How consistent is PSA with their grading? Do we agree with the grades that they're assigning and then what are those exact cards that we're looking at sell for? Why are we paying more for a PSA 6 than a PSA 5 if the PSA 5 actually looks better than the PSA 6? If they make a mistake on a grade, why are we just going with that and paying more for the card that's overgraded instead of paying the amount based on the condition of the card in our eyes. So let's take a look, tell me what you think. I have a couple of ideas as why I think that the grades they assign dictate what we pay. And we'll take a look at that in the video, but we're gonna look at several cards side by side and the actual grades that are assigned and the prices that those cards sold for. First off, one of my all-time favorite cards, the 1954 Topps Ernie Banks. If you look on the bottom here, you can see the prices that these exact cards sold for. And then up above, the grades that each of them received. Now, there's a lot to unpack here when we start looking at these. One thing when we compare one card to the next is, do we even agree with the grade? Um, when I look at these here, few things jump out to me. Uh, number one, when I compare that three to the four, so when I compare the three grade to the four grade, to me, the corners look very similar. I think that the centering might be slightly better on the four, but the color and the surface of the three seems superior to me. So if I had these two cards side by side, I'm probably wanting the three over the four, but the four gets a higher grade. Now, that's not the only issue. The other part of the issue that I think is a problem is that the, the four sold for 50% more than the three but the three is arguably a better card. Another thing that jumps out when I look at these is look at the jump in price from the five to the six. And is the six any better than the five? Again, if these don't have a grade on them, if we just cover up the grade and look at the cards themselves, I think the five might be better. So why do we pay more? Well, PSA has this thing that a lot of us have heard about, which is that set registry. I think people might care what the card's grade at because it affects their set registry. So let's look at the next card up here. We have the Brooks Robinson. More on the set registry later. We have the prices at the bottom that they sold for. Again, one of my all-time favorite cards. I love the cards where they are rookie cards of guys, and they just look so young. So when I compare these cards, again, we have a 2, a 3, 
a four, a five, and a six. When we take a look at these, one thing that jumps out, there's a huge jump in price from the two to the three. But I think the three is better than the four. The price ended up similar here. Uh, the other thing is I, I think I like the five more than the six. Now, again, you look and you go, well, the six has an old label. The newer label is on the, the five, and their grading card's harder now. Okay, that's a whole nother issue. If the old labels are when they graded cards before, and now they're grading cards harder, then why is the six selling for more than the five if the five was graded during the harder grading period, the newer grading period? So if we're going to start saying that when a card was graded affects the grade, then that throws out the whole grading system completely. I'm assuming PSA uses a rubric, a very strict rubric, but a six should never be worse than a five. But in this case, to me, this five looks better than the six. Take a second for me if you've not yet subscribed to the channel. Please do that. It helps so much with the YouTube algorithm. The next card we're going to take a look at is the Rookie Yogi Berra card. Another one of my favorites. Now, only one of these has the new label. And you can see over there to the right, the five versus the six. The six sold for $1,795. And the five sold for 1050. This 1050 sale was very recently, was it within the last week? Now, when I compare those two cards, when I compare the five to the six, I think the five's better. I think the corners are at least as good. Probably better. Side to side centering is at least as good. Top to bottom's not quite as good on the five, but the overall card i think the five is better but the six sells for an extra 645 dollars 745 dollars why is that i think it's because it's the extra points in people set registries on psa are we really going to pay 645 dollars 745 dollars more just so our set registry gets an extra bump but the best card on this screen is the five. And the difference between the two and the three and a half? Not much. But the price is a third more. It's a third more just because it's a grade of one and a half points higher. Now those are both old grades compared to the five versus the six where the five is the newer grade. Again, we can tell that from the lighthouse label up at the top on the label itself. That's not a good thing. Let's look here at the 54 Hank Aaron, another one of my favorites. Now, the six, I don't have a recent sale where I know the exact price of the six. It was a buy it now, best offer. So we don't really know what the six sold for, but look at that seven, sold for $13,000. Whereas a five sold for 4,746. I don't see a huge difference between that five and that seven. I think the four is really nice. Look at that four. The centering is fantastic on the four. The corners are pretty nice on the four. The coloring is nice on the four. But the four sells for forty-one fifty-one, and the seven sells for 13000 is it really $9,000 nicer of a card? Or is it just that it's three grades higher? So because it's three grades higher, we're going to pay almost an extra $10,000? Are we doing that for the card? Or are we doing that for the grade? And if we're doing it for the grade, why are we doing it for the grade? Is it for our set registry so we get bonus points and we have a higher set registry score than someone else? Are we collecting cards so we have a better set registry? I don't understand. 
there was a time not long ago when I was collecting cards and there were no grades. And we just looked at the cards and looked at the raw card and what did the card look like? Now we're buying cards maybe because of the grade? Let's look at the two, three, four, five, and six of the Bob Gibson rookie. And again, as we go through those, we have all three different labels. So we have the old label there for the five, the middle label for the six, and then the newer label for the two, the three, and the four. I don't see a big difference between the four and the six. Those are very, very comparable. Look at that four. And look at that six, and you tell me where those cards are dramatically different. How is it two grades different? But even more, it's an extra $405. It's either $545 for the four or $950 for the six. Are we paying an extra $405 so we have a six instead of a four? Or are we paying extra because it's actually a better card? I don't see a big difference between those. We're talking about 80% more for the six over the four. Why? And, and this is a rare one where we actually had the two sell for more than the three. Why is that? I don't know. I mean, could be a lot. Those cards are pretty comparable. They're, they're similar cards. I don't think one's significantly better than the other. I don't, if you covered up the grades, I wouldn't say, oh yeah, the, the two is better than the three, the three is better than the three. They look very similar. They're good comps. Now we got the Stan Musial. Now, as we go through these, look at the prices here. We got $37.95 on the five over there. And we have a 1.5 and a 2.5 and a three. And a four and a five. Now, again, I'm just trying to find good comps. But let's take a quick look at that 2.5. Look at this. Look at the printing on this card. It's awful. It's all off. The color and the back of the card, they're, they're off. It's, it's almost like an error. And they got a 2.5? It's $1,000? I would much rather have the 1.5 than the 2.5. And how, if we look at the 2.5 and compare it to the three, how is the three a half a point higher than the 2.5? The three is way better of a card than the 2.5, but it's a half a point higher? There, the consistency is not there. Look at the three versus the four. I think the three's better. But then again, the four sells for over $700 more. Why? Not because it's a better card. It's not better corners. It's not better centering. It's because the grade is higher. Don't buy the grade. Buy the card. We need to buy the card we like, not the grade we like. There is not consistency on the grading. So again, I think it goes back to the set registry. I think there are a lot of people who have set registries. Whether it's a Stan Musial set registry or a 48 Leaf set or whatever it is. And they're so caught up in making their score higher on their set registry. And having bragging rights. That they're buying inferior cards for more money just because the number that PSA assigned to it is higher. I'm not anti-PSA. I think PSA is fine. I think SGC is fine. They both have pros and cons. I've done a lot of submissions through PSA. I think most of the time they do a good job. But let's not just be buying cards because of the grade assigned by PSA. Let's actually look at the card itself. Let's not be buying grades so we can have a higher set registry. If it's not the set registry, why are we buying worse cards for more money just because the grade that PSA gave it? They're not perfect. They make mistakes. When we look side by side, there are going to be inferior grades. 
to superior cards and vice versa. It's going to happen. Again, like and subscribe if you haven't yet, but buy the card, not the grade.